A while ago on the channel, I made a tutorial on making easy character animations. I tried to make this a nice simple tutorial so anyone could follow, but then I started receiving comments. Most people were complaining about the price of Cinema 4D or that they just prefer to use Blender. I also used After Effects in that video, but nobody complained about that! I'm just saying there's other ways of getting these programs. Anyway, I'll be doing the same thing, but this time I'll be only using free programs. So instead of using Cinema 4D, I'll be using Blender. For video editing, I'll be using DaVinci Resolve. Oh yeah, I had to learn Blender for this video, so you guys better be subscribing. <laughs> Let's begin! So first we're gonna go to this website called The Models Resource. Now this website basically just has a bunch of models from video games. Now there's actually a lot of movie and TV show adaptations on there, so just go crazy with that. I don't know, let's just search up uh, Scooby Doo. And yeah, we got quite a few models. So naturally we gotta use Shaggy. So we'll download that. You can even use The Rock, he's on here. Oh, I don't know, maybe we'll go for one of the Simpsons. Homer it is. Low poly Miranda Cosgrove is cursed. Oh, oh is this iCarly? What? Oh, <laughs> this one of Spencer. Oh, you know I've got to use this one. So I'm just going to use the same website to find a map. Is, wait, is this Wee Bowling? Oh, SpongeBob's room do be kind of slick though. Uh, there's a lot of detail in this one. It looks like it's Andy's room from Toy Story. Sure, we're going to do this one. Now we're going to head over to this website called Mixmo. Just make sure that you download the plugin for Blender or else this won't work at all. There's a video at the bottom on how to install it. It's free to sign up, so just make an account if you don't have an Adobe account already. So now we can upload our cap. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm Glenn Quagmire. For you, you won't have Quagmire on there, but we're just going to have to upload a new character. So I'm just going to upload our Homer model by selecting the whole zip file. Whoa, okay, well, it looks like Homer's already rigged up for us, um, but in most cases, you'll have to set it up yourself. So, for example, with Spencer, you just gotta select all the points that it says to, and then it should be good to go. So now we've got Homer in here, we can basically make him do anything we want. Let's just do something basic, like a walk. I don't know, let's select this one, and <laughs> yep, this will do. So when you download it, make sure you select whatever frame rate you want. I want 60, so I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to keep the skin on so I don't have to attach it later. Now, download it. So we're now in Blender and we're going to open up the map that we downloaded earlier. In this case, it was an OBJ file. Select the files, then click import. And there we go, we have our map. Now you might be wondering, where are all the textures? Well, to get these, you need to click up here, then select texture. Now let's get our characters in here. So we're going to do the same thing, file, import, and this time it is an FBX file, so we're going to click on that one. Find wherever we saved it, and then we just click import FBX. Sweet, so now we've got Homer on our scene, we've just placed him down on the ground. Now, if we move our mouse over by the timeline at the bottom, we can see that he is actually now walking in our scene. Or you could just push play, and look, there he goes. Now you just need to repeat the same step with another character. So I've just imported my new character, and he has come in very small, so to bring him up, I'm going to use the scale tool. To choose his location, I need to use the move tool, and I'm going to place him over here. Once I'm happy with that, I can now use the rotate tool to adjust his position. Just play around until you find something that you like. To adjust your character's movement, you need to select a character, then at the bottom on your timeline, you'll have a whole bunch of yellow keyframes. Select them all, then move it left or right, depending on if you want your action to happen sooner or later. So now I roughly have the scene that I want. To now get this recorded, I need to set up a camera. Now it should automatically have a camera in your folder area, but if you deleted it for whatever reason, just go up to add and then click on camera. To start it off, we're going to click at the start of our time frame. Now you can basically set this up however you want. So to capture the frame that I want, you're going to push Control alt 0 and this box will show you what our first frame will look like. I basically just recommend checking out this video by Poly... <laughs> I don't actually know how to say that, but um, he has a really good video on making smooth camera movement. I'm basically just going around making a bunch of keyframes of different angles for the camera to move in. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it. This is going to be one of my scenes. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to click on this little option here, which is your render settings. Then choose whatever resolution you want. I'm going to make this 1440p because my monitor is 1440p. And then select your frame rate. I'm going to stick with 60 frames per second and then choose your start and end frame. So this 
scene only goes for 170, so I can change this to finish on 170. Then for your output, because we're just going to use a free video editing software, we're going to change it from PNG, click it on this option here, then click on encoding, change this to MPEG4. Once that all looks good, choose your output folder. I'm just going to make a new folder, call it renders, click accept. And then we can just go up here and we can render out our animation. Now this can take a while, so you're just going to have to wait. Once it finishes, you should now have an MP4 file that you can now play and watch. Nice. Now to make more scenes, we just need to do the same thing and just make as many as you'd like. Cool, so it looks like I've got all my scenes, so now let's put it into an editing software. Like I said earlier, we're going to use DaVinci Resolve. Now there are two different versions of DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> DaVinci, what the? DaVinci Resolve. Um, there's a free version and a paid version. Uh, obviously, we're going to use the free version, so click download on that and choose your operating system. Now all we need to do is just drag and drop all of our files into the editing software and then drag it down into our timeline. So now click on the edit tab and now here we can add whatever audio we want and make any edits. Once you've made all your edits, go down to here and click deliver. Select what format, we're going to do mp4. Then make sure you tick whatever resolution you want. Once that all looks good, just click add to render queue. And then once you select your video, click render all. And that's it. And here are the results. Now obviously this is a very scuffed animation, but if you actually have an idea for something, this could be a good way to get it animated, maybe. So yeah, that's about it. You better subscribe. <laughs>